welcome back to Social with Shauna, where I share with you guys everything I have learned about growing and making money on social media. If you are a social media influencer or trying to grow, especially on YouTube and Instagram, make sure you hit that red subscribe button, you turn on your bell notification because you're not going to want to miss any of my upcoming videos. Today, we are going to be talking all about YouTube settings and the YouTube settings you need to make sure you are paying attention to to gain the most views possible. So I don't know about y'all, but when I was first starting out on YouTube, I had no idea about YouTube settings or where to look or what they should be set up. Let me know in the comments down below if you did. <laughs> it took me a long time before I found the settings and started playing around with them. And so today I want to share with you guys exactly which settings you should be paying attention to, where they're located and why so that you can get the most views out of your YouTube channel. All right, so if you don't know how to access your settings quickly, I'm gonna teach you how to do that. On a computer, you are going to, when you're logged into YouTube, of course, you are going to want to go in the top right-hand corner and you should see your profile picture, your picture. Go ahead and click on that picture and then you will want to click on YouTube Studio. That is where all of your like control center for your YouTube page is located. Once you get into YouTube Studio over on the left hand side down at the bottom, it will say settings. This is where all of your main channel settings is located to make sure you are optimizing those. Now, once you are in your settings, the first thing you are going to see is just your general settings. Um, basically, this just asks you what currency you're wanting. So go ahead and select that if you haven't already. Next, we're gonna go down a little bit and we are gonna talk about upload defaults. This is one of the really important settings or really beneficial settings in the YouTube world that can really help benefit your channel and help speed up that upload time because y'all, we all know uploads can take forever. <laughs> so in the upload defaults, you can go ahead and set up basically a template for what your defaults are for when you upload. So if you have a set like what you put in your description box. So for example, for my description box, I have down there, you know, when I post, I have where to contact me if you wanna find me on my social medias. I also have some affiliate links and things like that that are always down in my description box. So for my upload defaults, I have those in here already set up so that I don't have to re-enter all that information in every single time I upload. It's just already there, already ready to go. And then I just have to put in the description for that video up at the top. But all my other defaults are already down there. So this is extremely important, extremely easy to use. Personally, I always leave the title part blank because the title changes depending on which video I'm using. But in my description area, I do have my basic settings that I use for my videos. And then at the very bottom, it will ask you what visibility you want to upload in. I have this set to private because I always, when I'm uploading, I want it to first be private and then later I will switch it to public or schedule it or whatever I want to do for that specific video. You can also set up some basic tags. If you know there are tags that you use for every single video, you can put those in here and they will pop up on every upload that you upload. Um, I don't have any in here because my tags are very specific to each video. I don't ever have like a set amount of tags that I use for every video that I post. So that's up to you though. If you wanted to put some tags in there that you use regularly, you can go ahead and put those in there as well. Now under the advanced settings under upload defaults, you can also put some more information in here. So from example, I have under video language, I have that my language is always in English because my videos are always in English. So I have that default set. I also have the category set as well. Next, we're gonna skip on down to the community section of our settings. Now, there's a few different things you can do here as well. First off, you can set up moderators. So especially if you live stream a lot, this is helpful to have moderators who can help moderate the conversation while you're live streaming. You can also view anyone that you have blocked in this section. So if you've ever come across like creepy comments or something and you've blocked someone, you can go here and view who you've blocked as well as you can delete them from your blocked list if you want to. And then my favorite part of this section is where you can ban certain words. So if you have certain words that you don't ever want to appear in your channel, um, for example, I know some people who do like um, plus size fashion, they don't ever want the word fat to appear in their comments. So they have that word blocked. If you want, I know a lot of people have cuss words blocked, um, just different words, any word you want blocked, you can put it here. And then those comments will only appear in your like for review section of your comments. You personally have to go in and review them before they are live on your comment section of your YouTube video. So that is extremely helpful here as well. 
Also under the community tab, if you hit default, you can go in there. You can make it so that YouTube will automatically hold any inappropriate, anything that they view as inappropriate, and it'll be held in that review category as well. So that is, I do have that one checked in all my videos. That's extremely helpful. Next up, we're gonna go back up to where it says channel. This is our basic channel settings. So under basic info, there's a lot of really helpful settings. My favorite and the one I think is probably one of the most important, I have two really important settings in this list right here, but this is one of the most important ones that I think that you should definitely go and take a look at if you have not already. And it is your channel keywords. I had no idea what channel keywords were until probably six months ago or so. And it is a game changer. You definitely want to go and check out your channel keywords. This is basically like tags for your channel. So you can put in whatever your channel is about. Currently on my main channel that is about cooking and cleaning, I have a lot of cooking and cleaning type keywords in there. Um, keto recipes, cooking recipes, family dinners, things like that. I have all those type of keywords in my keyword section for that channel. For this channel, I of course have like things like social media growth, Instagram tricks, um, YouTube tricks, things like that all in my keywords for this channel. You want to go and set your keywords up so that you are, it just helps you and increases your ability to be found in search when people are searching for those type of keywords in YouTube. So make sure you go and check your keywords out. If you have not done that in the past, that is one of my most important tips in this video. Check out your channel keywords. And then also on the basic info page, of course, you can just select which country you are uploading from. That should never change. So you want to go ahead and set that here. Um, mine, of course, is the United States. Now quickly, we're going to skip on over to branding. I think branding is one of the other very important aspects I want you to take away from this video. Branding is that little watermark that you see over in the corner of my video here that says subscribe. Now in the branding section, you can select any type of watermark you want to put on your videos. You can have it appear just at the beginning, just at the end or throughout the entire video. And it doesn't have to be the subscribe button. I like the subscribe button because it helps as another call of action to let you guys know that you should subscribe to the channel if you want to stay tuned for more tips. But if you could also put a logo, so if you have a specific logo for your channel or your brand, you can put that there in the corner and it's always there. A bonus for this watermark is when people click on it, it directly takes them to a little area for them to subscribe. So it's really easy. They just click on the watermark and they can subscribe to your channel. So adding that watermark can definitely increase your subscribers and you want to make sure you have that on your videos. Next up, we're going to be talking about the advanced settings. And this is a big one and something that is new to YouTube in the year of 2020. So under advanced settings, one of the most important, if not maybe one of the, if not the most important tip in this video is to make sure you go in there and set your, is this channel made for kids setting? So as you guys know, with all of the new laws and everything going on with YouTube right now, each channel needs to set whether their channel is made for kids or not. You can either set this as a channel as a whole, or you can do it in, in each video individually. Now, if you have a channel like mine, Social Shauna, these videos are not intended for kids. You are going to want to go ahead and select that these videos are not intended for children. If you select that your videos are intended for children, which you should if your videos are directed towards a child audience, then your videos will not have comments on them. They will not have advertisements on them. They will not show up or be suggested. It is a new law that you have to comply with according to COPA. Um, there will, there's a ton of information about that on the internet and there's a ton of YouTube videos and people who know a whole lot more about it out there. I'll link a couple of them down in the description box. I'm not going to really talk about COPA because I don't fully understand it. My videos aren't intended for kids and so I don't really mess with it. Um, but if you are interested in it, go ahead and check out the links in the description box below if you need to learn more. But that is a very important setting. You are going to want to make sure and set your channel, whether it is intended for children or not. Like I said, my type of channel, it's not intended for children. Even my other channel, my cooking and cleaning channel, none of those videos are intended for children as well. They are what I consider family friendly, but they are, are not directed towards a child audience. They are directed towards adults. So that is what you want to make sure of. And if you have more questions about that, like I said, there will be some videos linked down below. So also in your advanced settings, you can go ahead and add your Google ads account. Um, there's some information in there about that if you want to connect that. And then next, you can also choose whether you hide your subscriber account or not. Now, there is some controversy around whether or not you should do hiding your subscriber account. I have chosen to on this channel for now just because I don't think that the number of subscribers I have right now matters as much. I of course can still see it, but I don't think it matters as much to y'all. And I think since I am a brand new channel and my subscriber count right now is currently low, 
Um, having my subscriber that the count there could hurt my channel. People might not see me as um, reputable. They might not see they may not think that my information is correct because my subscriber count is low when indeed all it is is that I'm a new channel and I'm still growing. <laughs> now, in the future, some people like to see what your subscriber count is so it could turn some people off. In the future, I'll probably add my subscriber count back here. On my other channel, I do have my subscriber count on there because I like I don't mind people knowing how many subscribers I have. But on this channel currently, since it is so brand new, I do have it hidden. And some people say that that can help you gain more subscribers because people aren't seeing a low number and thinking, oh, they're nobody. I'm not going to subscribe to that channel. I don't know. I think there's benefits to both. Um, it's up to you. Play around with it. See what works for you. Some people swear that when they hide the subscriber count, they skyrocket with subscribers. Some people say it doesn't matter and they don't know what is the difference. So play around with it on your own. But this is where you do change that if you want to. And then the very last little bit of information, the last setting that you should go ahead and double check on your channel. It's down at the bottom where it talks about advertisement and whether you want to disable inter interest based ads. If you are monetized, this is an important one for you to check out. The YouTube gives you a little description about what that means down there. So go ahead and check that out and decide whether or not you want to disable interest based ads on your channel. I don't have them disabled on my main channel. Um, I want all the ads possible playing on my main channel so I can get all the revenue possible. But you go ahead and read about it in YouTube and decide on your own whether or not you want to disable them. I hope you guys enjoyed this in this video and you learned some helpful information. If you do, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. If you know other fellow YouTubers out there who could learn and benefit from this information, make sure you share this video. And if you are not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Turn on your bell notifications because you're not going to want to miss any of my future uploads. We'll see you guys next time. Bye, y'all.